Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Victoria.zip I am your host Victoria and this is the seventh episode of Victoria's Knitting Podcast Today we are going to be talking about everything I have done in the month of July And what a better way to start off this episode than talking about what I am wearing right now Which is my first Finish object of the month this is the Calm Down Cardigan by Lily Kate Makes and if you have been around in this channel you already know the whole story about it but if not I will tell you about it and you'll hear it again so I started this cardigan back in January of this year and I wasn't able to finish it because I ran out of yarn while I was working on the second sleeve which was devastating news for me because there wasn't any yarn in stock and since then, since mid-February till the last month I had been checking constantly on the Manus de Uruguay website to see if they have any yarn in stock because I knitted this cardigan with Manus del Uruguay Sami in the colorway Co. and they didn't have in stock. I reached out several times to their customer service and they weren't helpful at all. Um, they didn't reply or when they did they were like yes we're going to check and they never replied back to me and that was the way it worked for several months and like two or three months ago I saw the yarn back in stock in the website I bought one screen and like two weeks later they sent a message to me being like hey sorry we don't have yarn here have your money back and I was like okay do you know when you're going to have yarn they you answer back and when they did have more yarn in stock I did try contacting them again they didn't answer me for like a week so i decided to buy one skin and well it did arrive so all in all my experience with manas in uruguay was awful which makes me very sad because i was really excited because i'm uruguay and i was like i want to try something from my country and yeah the experience wasn't good and also I have some issues with the yarn itself because I did have to buy from different batches and I knew that the colors weren't going to match because they were from different batches but I was expecting something like you know a little bit different or I was like okay I'm going to finish this cardigan so I don't care but the yarn that they did send me was so different the color was really light and you can see it here I don't know if you can appreciate it enough but this yarn is I would say it's blue and this one is grayish so even though they are both the Sami on the colorway coal the batches are totally different and when you see it in like in real life it's way more different this is really light and i was able to see that these yarns were dyed by different people i mean i was expecting them to have some kind of a standard so these kind of things didn't happen but it seems like they don't so now i have a cardigan that was extremely expensive and I was expecting to be a little bit variegated because this is hand dyed but now this is like three different colors which don't match like this is grey and this is blue so you know not really happy with Manos de Uruguay which makes me sad I know I have already said that but I haven't got over it yet. Let's talk a little bit about the pattern now that I have already talked a lot about the yarn. This pattern is supposed to be knitted with a DK weight yarn 
and with four millimeter needles then you need 3.75 and 3.5 to do the ribbing and the double knitted button band so you have to change i did went down like half a size because as always i need to lose but that's normal for me so just follow the normal four millimeter needles i will say because the problem is me so this pattern has nine sizes they are supposed to fit both sizes from 71 to 157 centimeters and it's recommended a positive ease of around 25 30 centimeters i did go down on sizes because i don't really like baggy things that much but all in all i think this pattern was really interesting to make first you start with the saddle shoulders then you do the front the back and all of that includes the shaping which is really nice to make also i will say and after that you continue working on the body but you always keep doing this one by one ribbing that follows down here and for me it does give this cardigan this really special touch you have the ribbing also here from the shoulders to the ribbing of the arm and i really like that detail it makes the cardigan looks really stylish something i want to mention also about the cardigan which i didn't realize until like i finished knitting the body because it seems like I don't pay attention to important things, is that here we have some decreases and the decreases are made so this doesn't close. Um, to be sincere, when I realized that, I didn't like it that much because as I have always been a plus size person when things don't close properly here, it means that something is too tight for me but as you can see this is not tight after you finish the body you need to do the double knitted bottom band which let me tell you was the worst experience of my life i have never knitted double knitted bottom bands before and oh boy there was struggle let me tell you something i don't know if i'm ever going to knit one again the pattern was amazing very well explained and as i mentioned a million times before it was my first time doing this so i was able to do it very successfully i had to like unravel it like the first 10 rows like three or four times but it was because i didn't know how to do it and it was great actually like i didn't need to go and search a tutorial on youtube the mistakes that i made were all on my own not because the pattern was bad or anything like it because it was very good explained but it's just hard to do um double needed bottom band so i don't know i don't know if i want to do one again but it does look really professional and really nice um something that i do thing that i had a problem is that my gauge for the double knitted bottom band was a little bit too tight because i do think that this is not laying perfectly as it should i think i might block this again and maybe try to erase the tightness that there is around the double knitted bottom band but i like how it looks even though it was hard to make after finishing the bottom band i started with the sleeves and that was a recommendation from the pattern because the cardigan will fit you differently once you have the bottom band on so it will help you to knit your sleeves and calculate which is going to be the best length for you because if you do it afterwards, probably you will mess up your sleep length. And I think it was a great recommendation. And I applied it when I knitted my store jacket by Petit Knit. Even though in the Petit Knit pattern, uh, she said that you should knit the sleeves first. I decided to knit the bottom one first. 
and I really like that cardigan. So that was everything I wanted to say about this pattern, um, I think. I usually have like a script or some notes about what I want to say when I film these videos, but today I didn't feel like it. I was like, let's try doing something different. So I'm just turning on the camera and I'm just talking, yapping to you guys. And I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. But let me know if you prefer this format of me just yapping to you or you prefer me just going straight to the point. So here we have the second finish object of the month. This is the Rumi Balaclava by Rui Shamamuro. This is a free pattern on rubbery. And I needed this with some leftover yarn I had in my house. I don't know which kind of yarn it was because it was really, really old. It was actually from a relative that passed away. So imagine how old this is. Um, well, I, it was like kind of a thick mohair and something that looked like a thick, like, lace weight yarn. Um, I think the pattern is really nice to make. You start first by doing a square and then you pick a stitches around and start with some increases. And then you need for like 20 centimeters and then you start to decrease in the back of the head and increase in the front. And you do that for some rows until you join everything. And you're supposed to need more rows of the stockinet, but I ran out of the mohair like yarn that I had. So I just had the, the one that was like a thick, lace weight yarn and I decided to hold it double and knit the ribbon but this is supposed to have more stock in it and less ribbing and after all I pick up the stitches around the face hole and also knitted it with the thick lace weight yarn so I will try this on and please go down in the comments and let me know what do you think I look like? Because my mother told me, you look like a... and now I can't unsay it. So, he prepared. So this is the balaclava. Um, you want to know what my mother told me I look like? She was like, you look like a teletubi. And she's right. I look like the emo cousin of Lala. Emo. I don't know. Emo. Yeah, emo could be like a Teletubi, I think. What do you think? Well, it doesn't look that bad as I thought that it looked before. And it's kind of warm, so... I don't care if I look like a Teletubi. So let me give you some additional facts about the pattern. This pattern is supposed to be knitted on a bulky weight yarn. The original pattern held together on an arm weight and a finger weight yarn. And it's supposed to be knitted with 5.5 and 4 millimeter needles. And now let's move on to my works in progress, which I have two. Yes, I have two or three. Yeah, three works in progress. One of them is like the this one but it's just like the hexagonal shirt that is looking the same so i'm not even going to talk about it i just had it like under like a cupboard that i have here so it's a cupboard even if it doesn't hold any cups i don't know a storage unit I don't know how to call it, but yeah, I have a thing with things inside and it's a storage thing and it has my knitting there, my crochet, I mean. But let's go with this. I know that in last episode I was like, oh yes, I'm going to have this vest finish by next episode. I expect to have this project done by the end of the month, so I expect to show you 
how it's looking by the next episode and i don't think i have even needed like one row since the last time i record an episode um i don't know why it's just like I don't really like knitting this, I am bored. But it's not because the pattern is bad, it's just like I get bored of things sometimes. So yes, maybe it's because I'm a bad person and this is not for me, so I'm not like really in a rush to finish this shit. But I will try to knit as much as I can this month. So this is also another um compound cardigan by Lily Kate makes but i'm not going to do the sleeves this time i am needing this off gauge so i'm doing a size one but i think it's looking ginormous anyways i think this is looking even bigger than this one which is a size three and i am needing this with four millimeter needles you know guys my gauge is huge but yes this is the not much progress i have done in my countdown best let's call it like that i am doing something else yes i'm doing something else but i'm not going to show you because i can't show you so i got myself into a secret tester project which is really exciting it's supposed to be done with scrubs so I'm using up my scraps, which are all acrylics. So I didn't have enough stash in my hands. So I did have to buy some yarn um, in some colors and matches. So one of them is Molliet by Circulo on the colorway. But, oh no. That's not the color. That's the badge. Like the color is underneath. Sorry. On the colorway 1730. This is 100% acrylic, but this. Well, not that soft. Not that soft. I'm not going to lie to you. But this acrylic, yes, it's super soft. It's by. Ilados L H O. I think these are this is like an Argentinian brand. Yes, it says done in Argentina here. And the color is the color 50, but this acrylic is a really nice and soft acrylic. So I'm using another some other colors. I, can, I will show you the colors I have here. Um I have another colors but they are in the other project bag so i'm not telling you what i'm needing i'm just going to tell you that it's looking super cute and once i finish everything and i am allowed to tell you i will of course let you know about it but for now it has been a really cool experience this is my first time test knitting and it was really it has been a really cool experience i was scared i wasn't going to be able to to help at all but i think i've been doing it pretty nice properly i don't know how to do it but i've been able to to let people know what i think about the pattern and that made me feel good do i have anything else to add i don't think so well my cat is waiting me for me to open the window so i'm going bye guys see you next month Adiós. Mm -hmm.